So why don't good products sell? Poor promotion. Poor promotion, 100%. No offer. There's no offer, absolutely. No story. There's no story. That's a big, big part of it. That really is one of the major reasons why people don't buy. I got this great thing. Like it's, it makes me sick to think how many amazing inventions are out there that haven't actually come to light because the person just didn't know how to be a marketer, <laughs> right? It's like, oh man, like what cool things are out there we just don't know about, right? So again, I've walked through this in the past here, but I want to hit this one more time here from a different angle. Okay, this is how the brain experiences a sale. Okay, and I call this. How many of you guys have seen the salesometer? Super cheesy. I know it is. I name. I don't know another name for it, and it's kind of stuck. So I kind of have to like apologize every time I talk about it. <laughs> okay, but the salesometer for me, this is how I measure the progress of the sale. This is why when someone's in the comments and I'm in a webinar and they're like, oh, "But how long is it going to take for me to do this?" What do they just say? External. That's an external. Oh, sweet, because I know the brain progresses usually in that order, I know that you are two thirds sold. That's good for me to know. Sweet, all right, I'll take out from my big bag of stories a bunch of ones, what's, what I got an external? Sweet, fire, 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 fire. Go back to close, go back to close, back to close. This is one of the coolest ways to, pro to measure how sold somebody is, okay? That's why this is such a big deal and so powerful. So again, first we're gonna go through and I'm going to judge if there's the possibility of the thing you're talking about, even working at all, just generally. Not can I do it, does it work in general? Oh, I see that car, I see that vehicle. Do I even think that thing can drive? It's a Pinto, I mean, I don't know if I should get in it. <laughs> okay. okay, second of all, once I'm convinced that vehicle has the capacity to do what I'm even saying, now it switches to, but can I also? Meaning, can I also drive this? Okay, it's gonna switch down to the, the possibility of customer uh, succeeding at driving the vehicle. How good of a driver? I don't feel like I'm qualified enough as a driver. I, I see it can do the thing you say it can, but I don't know that I can do it also, okay? Internal is the hardest one to break, okay? It's the hardest one to break. How do you think you break vehicle-based objections? Success stories, right? Case studies, success stories, testimonials. This is how it works in your scenario. Here's a huge list of who it does work for. How do you break external resource-based things? Yeah, money back guarantees, right? The time, money, support from spouse thing. Oh, time. Don't worry, we're gonna help you with this piece. This is how it all works. Money. Oh, we've got payment plan, whatever, financing, okay. Support. Oh, if you don't feel like you have support, don't worry, I also have a community. Internal is the most challenging to break. You gotta get them to believe that they can do it also. That's very, very hard, okay? That's always, always been the hardest one to break. Okay, the third one, again, like I said, is also resources. I see that it can work and that car can drive. I see and I believe I can do it also. And I see that there's enough gas in the tank to get where you say I'm supposed to go. That's kind of how it works in the flow of it, okay? Can it work? Can it work for me? Do I have the resources to do it also? Now, uh, I love this example, <laughs> okay? All right. Oh, baby. He's going 100 to 150 miles an hour. It's a squirrel suit. I want to do this so bad. Can it work? Can you do it too? See where you're stuck? Could you get the resources to also do it? Which one are you stuck on? Exactly. Okay, now this is how I go and I judge the sale and the progress of the sale and how sold somebody is every time I sell anything. That includes if I'm just doing a Facebook Live and I'm reading the comments. Okay, people will often ask while well, I'm doing a Facebook Live and I'm talking about an event or something. When is the event? Are they sold on the fact that it's probably gonna be okay? Yep. Yep. That they also could probably go there? Yep. They're stuck on the external. Dang it, I'm not communicating enough on the details of this event. Let me go harder on it. We did 16 campaigns to fill off our mind with 650 people. 16. One of them was send ads to a funnel. 15 others. Okay. And it's because I kept seeing what people's objections were, taking up a piece of, of those objections, rebuilding a sales message, creating a campaign, and resending it back into the funnel. Okay. We did so well with it that ClickFunnels was like, how are you guys doing that? We went and we showed them how we were... To go from 150 to 650 in a year, that's nuts. Okay. And that's the reason why it worked. Um, but it's because of these principles that are running through my head with cheesily I've named the sales o meter <laughs> Okay. Someone else comes up with a better name, that'd be awesome. That'd be super cool. Okay. You like it? <laughs> that's good. Okay. Um, now, uh, again, this is how we get across it. We need to cross the bridge of no belief to belief. Um, 
Again, so can it work? I don't know if it can work. Can it work for me? Right? Do I have the resources to pull it off? The way we're crossing that bridge over to it can work. I can do it also, and I have the resources to do it is story. That's it. It's lots of story. All belief is upheld by story. Right? Uh, classic example, if someone was religious and now they're not, it's usually they stopped reading scriptures, consuming story. Right? Same thing is true if you once had a discipline and you don't anymore, you probably stop listening to those podcasts. Does that make sense? Like when the moment you unplug, there's a really interesting fa- uh, correlation between all this. The moment you unplug from, from whatever it might be, you stop losing, you stop holding belief in that, whatever that thing is, whatever that is in your life. Okay. Again, this is the reason why you got to be ethical with this stuff because you, you are messing with the way people see the world. 